everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to tell you all about my favorite application and website, Quizlet. Using Quizlet, I managed to get my students excited about learning vocabulary, practicing, and play games using the vocabulary words that we studied. And you can also use it to review grammatical structures as well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Quizlet Live, which turned out to be my students' favorite online game when we have our online lessons. So let me share all of this with you right now. Let's dive into it. So this is Quizlet. You go to quizlet.com and you create your own account. I highly suggest that you log in using your Google account. So it'll be easier for you to log in later. Uh, let me show you how you can start creating your own Quizlet set. So you go to create, which is pretty easy, simple. Let's say that the title is, let's see, animals. And then you type in the word, uh, let's say elephant. And then you want to choose the definition so you can choose a language. You can translate it into different languages. As you can see here, I'm going to translate it to, into Arabic and it automatically generates the meaning in Arabic, you see? And I, I also have an opportunity to upload any image that I want. I like this one. I can add more cards here. If I'm not interested in adding more cards, I can simply click on create and it automatically generates a link for me that I can share with my students. I can share it using uh, Google, uh, Google Classroom and, uh, and Teams as well if you're using Microsoft. And you can simply copy the link and share it with your students using their emails, WhatsApp groups, or any other platform that you're using. Now, once your students get the link, this is what they'll get. They'll get the words, so they will be able to see the words, practice them using the flashcards option. They can learn the words. They will be able to choose the most suitable meaning, and it gives them feedback, which is really nice for, for students. Okay. And once your students finish learning the words, they can learn how to write the words. Okay. Got it. Great. I'm going back. Let me show you other options. Spelling. They spell what they hear. So they listen to it. And then they can spell it. Pretty cool. Go back to other options that we have here, test. So there's an option for testing. So once you click on test, your students can test their knowledge after they're done. Okay, the meaning and they, it also generates a multiple choice question that your students can answer, true, false. Okay. And once they're done, they can automatically click on check answers and they will get their ah, score. Yes. So after they test their knowledge, they can play a matching game as well. Pretty easy, simple. They match the word with the meaning and they have a timer. They do it quickly. Super easy, super fun for them and very engaging. And there's this gravity game where you can choose, uh, where your students actually can choose the, the level of difficulty, whether they want to answer in English, in Arabic, or randomly, and then they start playing. Now, I would like to show you my favorite option and my students' favorite option, the live. Once you click on the live option, that's the first step. You have an opportunity to choose how to arrange your students, whether you want them to work in teams, in random teams, 
or individually. Since we are teaching online, I prefer the individual because they are not able to work in teams now, but it is possible for you to use it once we go back face to face, or if you think that, that they'll be able to do it somehow using the online, whatever you prefer. Let me click on individual here. You can select whether they will see the translation and then they have the words or they can see the word in English and then they can choose the correct translation. Whatever you prefer, let's go with this option. Once you click on select, this is what you get. You get the link to the Quizlet plus the code and you also get this QR code that your students can scan in order to log in to your lesson, or you can simply copy game link from here. Once you copy the game link, you can share it with your students using, uh, of course, the chat or WhatsApp group or whatever you prefer, but it's very important that they'll get the link. And once they get the link, they type in their names, ask them to write their names and not fake name so you'll be able to see their progress I'll paste the link over here and i can log in using uh my first name and then i click on let's go and as a teacher i see that rania logged in let's log in with another student's name let's call him adam and let's go. And Adam is waiting for the game as well. Okay, I can see that Rania and Adam are here. If I don't like a name of a person who joined and he called his himself a name that I don't want to appear, I can simply click on this X and out he goes. Okay, I have two players. I can create a live game right now. I click on create game once i do let's see it from a student's point of view the students get uh, a name of an animal it's puffins <laughs> so adam is also waiting for this teacher to start the game as a teacher i click on start game in order for them to start playing and this is what i actually see i see that both of them didn't start playing and i can see their progress that okay hippo that's a hippo I see that the peacock progressed. Bear, that's a bear, okay? And once they are playing, they will listen to this um, a nice uh, music as they're playing and they can continue playing. Let's see, I can see that the peacock uh, is advancing, puffins are not really advancing. So the thing is, if they got one wrong answer, they go back to the beginning. Let me show you how, let's see. So I'll go back to the beginning. It says, oops, wrong. And then I can start again from the beginning. You see the peacock are in the beginning. It's not that complicated, but it's super fun. Students really enjoy this game. They're playing all together and then you will get the first place, second place and third place. And this is some kind of a formative assessment that can help you really know your students level and whether they've acquired the vocabulary words that you're trying to teach them so do you remember that i told you that you can actually also practice grammar so here you go irregular verbs are all here and you can also create a game with irregular verbs which is super simple and super fun for students to review i hope that you find this useful Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum, everyone.